Hey everyone, it's Jim here. Look, on this video, I want to talk about weighing out the odds of doing yourself or hiring a contractor. Well, you know, when you think about your, your project, you got to really look at a number of different things. One is your confidence. Like, how confident are you doing stuff? I mean, some projects, depending on how big it is, you know, could be involved with ripping a roof off of a house. Do you feel comfortable having a couple people over, ripping the roof off your house, reframing it, and, and adding on? Do you feel comfortable shutting off all your plumbing, disconnecting it all, and start to renovate your bathroom from top to bottom? I mean, there's elements of it that you need to start to look at. And in other videos, I talk about breaking down the project and really the structure of doing that. But for now, let's talk about when to bring in the big guns, the professionals, and when do you do it yourself? The first thing you need to con consider is, like I said, just your, your confidence with it. How confident are you in the fact that you can do that? Now, with the confidence comes time. Most of us can get a lot of things done. It may take us longer to do it, but we can do it. So you got to consider the time element. Most of you are probably working full time, maybe some of your home working from your office at home. Depends on what your scenario is. You need to look at the time that you can invest in your project. Because it does gonna, it is going to take away from your family, it's going to take away from your work, it's going to take away from other things that you want to do. So you need to consider the time that you need to pour into something. Because you may watch a video and watch a tradesperson do a particular part of that job and they make it look effortless and you know, they figure it'll take you 10 hours maybe to do that component. But when you get in there and because you're inexperienced and you're not used to doing it, it might take you 20 or 30 hours to do that. Do you have that time to allow that to happen? So you got to consider the project and the pace that you need to keep in your project. If you're doing something that you want to renovate to sell, then every day, every week, every month that you have a project, it's going to cost you money. So you need to do some math and decide if there's a trade-off there. Is it worth spending a little extra to have a trade come in just to speed up that process to get you to a place where you feel more comfortable, perhaps more confident in your abilities to finish the next stage? So look at the project, begin to break it down, and then decide what it is that you feel most comfortable with. You know, I mean, most people, I mean, let's face it, if you wanted to put an addition on your home, you could probably dig it out by hand, but is it practical to dig it out by hand? You may be able to form up all the walls and pour it yourself, but is it practical to do that? You may be able to frame the entire addition by yourself, but is it practical to do that? Because there's so many other people that are set up for that particular component. That's all they do. And so they can get things done quicker, much more efficient and effective. So you need to consider your budget what you want to put into it. How much money do you have to spend? If you have a very limited budget, then obviously you want to do a lot more yourself. And then, you know, you're going to have to weigh out the fact that it's going to take you a little bit more time, but you're going to save the money, then maybe you have to do that. And I, when I bought my first property 38 years ago, you know, I didn't have a big budget. So I had to take the time. We knew we were going to be in that home for a, a, quite a while. So we weren't worried about the time. We just worked away at it, bits and pieces, at, until we got things done. We learned as we went, but we weren't affected by the time. It wasn't until we bought a property that had some you know, rental potential that we wanted to get it done quicker. So then I had to look at it and say, OK, I feel comfortable doing you know, B, C, and D, but I don't feel comfortable doing A as quickly. So I would hire someone to come in and do that component. So that's the one thing to consider is just how much time uh, is, is going to take you. What is your budget on this and what is the outcome? What is your, your, your ability in this? So give those some thought as you step into your project. And it's going to help you eliminate one of the big factors and that's frustration. You know, sometimes we can get overwhelmed with things and we can get frustrated with things. We want to put things down. We want to walk away from it. So many projects that I've been called in on, you know, Everything was started with great intention, but the, the family or the couple couldn't complete it. And so it just added the frustration. It added an other element to the whole project that they weren't expecting. And so you'll alleviate a lot of frustration if you consider those factors. How much time, how much of a component, uh, a confidence do you have in, in something? What is the time strength on it? What is your budget? Look at those things and really decide, is it worth bringing in some experts, bringing in someone to help you in that particular stage to get you to that next level. Does that make sense? I hope so. Look, at, let's, let's sign off for now. 
We'll catch up some more. We'll talk about this a little bit more, but it gives you something to consider stepping into something. If you got all the time in the world, you don't need to worry about it. You can keep on going. But look at these things and it'll help you to alleviate some frustration. It'll help the project go along a lot smoother, a lot easier. You'll feel comfortable about it. You won't be waking up in the middle of the night sweating over things. You'll be able to get through it much more easier and just enjoy the process, enjoy the whole journey. I'll look forward to talking again real soon.